Tuesday Drive with Stephen. Now, have you ever been in town on a windy day, much like today, really? And you've looked up in the sky and you've seen a plastic bag floating furiously in the wind. Do you ever wonder where it's going to land? Let's take today, for example, where now are recorded gusts of up to 87 kilometres and Ulladulla 72 kilometres. That's, um, uh, that's a mighty strong wind and you can just imagine where they're blowing all those loose items. Well, I'm not the only one who thinks that. Volunteers from Shoalhaven Landcare and Ritherwatch have been out and about picking up rubbish. And it's a very timely reminder that we should all be doing our part to look after the environment. Ev Pettigrew is from Ritherwatch and she joins me down from her car, I believe. Hello, Ev. <laughs> Hello, Steve, yes. <laughs> Pulled I'm aside sitting, safely. <laughs> I'm sitting beside the Hume Highway in a rest area. Oh, is it, is it windy where you are at the moment? Very windy. Oh, it's God. been horrid. It's been horrid, yes. Hey, yes. Ev, tell me, tell me about some of the rubbish that you guys have been collecting around Shoalhaven. Well, Stephen, we've been actually focusing on um, silage wrap. Right. And um, I'm sure that anyone who gets out of Nara driving around the, uh, the highways or the, the country roads mm. or cycling... Um, we'll have seen a lot of wrap caught on fences. It gets caught on the barbed wire. It whisk, whisked away from farms, caught on barbed wire fences and uh, hangs there until um, often it breaks down and gets whisked further further away. Yeah, yep. So that's been our focus and we did a clean-up early this week and a couple of areas that we felt were particularly had a lot of silage wrap on the fences and uh, so we did that on um, Monday. I've, I've got to ask for those that uh, may not be aware, what what is silage wrap? Ah, well you would have all seen those big round uh, bales or balls of green in um, in paddocks mm -hmm. on farmland. Right. Um, there's a lot of it up between Nowra and, and Berry, a big area there. It's a green plastic that is wrapped around the harvested material, harvested grass, mm -hmm. grassland, to it, it creates an airtight seal and makes it into silage, yes. So previously silage used to be made on farms in a pit. They would cover it with um, plastic and tyres and things to hold the plastic down. But now the preference is for um, some people still using pits, of course, but mainly the silage is made into these uh, large, big green bales. And it needs to be airtight. Mm. That's why they're using the plastic wrap. Now, you were, you were working with uh, Landcare yesterday. How much of this silage wrap did you guys actually collect, do you reckon? Yes, we, we just targeted two areas. Mm -hmm. One um, spot out along Jennings Lane and Bolong Road and a little bit around on Back Forest Road near the um, Broughton Creek boat ramp there. One group went and did that area and another group did an area just out of Berry on Wharf Road. Both those areas had quite a lot of wrap and uh, there were 10 of us involved altogether, two, two different, um, we broke into two groups and in a couple of hours on the Wharf Road um, area, we collected 60 kilos wow. of wrap. That's, that's a lot of plastic. I, I was just thinking that. Yes, that's that's incredible and scary at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what are you encouraging just the general community to to look out for or, or know what to do? Well, it was interesting yesterday as we as we were cleaning up along Wharf Road and a, a, it's a fairly popular cycleway, and three cyclists went past dressed in their lycra, and one called out, you know, thumbs up recognising that we were doing something positive and I uh, said, good on you, been seeing that for years. And mm. I thought, what a shame that person hasn't, you know, they've obviously driven past it or, or ridden past it many times. They've obviously felt a little bit concerned about it, but just didn't take the time to stop and gather it up. And it, it wouldn't would take been... that much time either, would it, Ev? No, and, and, you know, I really do encourage people who are cycling or walking, it's not difficult to unwrap it off the fences. Once it's unwrapped, it's, you know, if it's left there, it deteriorates, mm. it fragments more and it blows 
further away and becomes part of all the microplastics that we're hearing about in the ocean. So I would really encourage people if they're walking or cycling to just take that moment to unwrap it. I, when I'm cycling around, I just have a backpack. I stop, unwrap it off the fence because you see the odd bit here and the mm. odd bit there. Um, Yes, where we were working yesterday, there was a bit more than the odd bit. There was a lot. Now, Ev, I, I understand that uh, you're you're working with farmers. What what are you doing with them, and how are you working with them? We're working through land care, and um, it's, look, the, the project has really just started. Um, we've identified it as an issue. Initially, that came through Riverwatch, but Riverwatch and Land Care now joined forces, and um, we're really wanting to work with farmers to to ensure that it's not escaping the property, you know, to, to retain it on the property, to retain it at source. Many farmers obviously are doing that. And I think that what we're seeing, caught on fences and things, is just something that's been picked up by these ferocious winds we've been having and carried off the farms and caught on fences. Sometimes you'll see it in a roadside ditch. The, the amount of plastic in one of those silage rolls is huge. It's about a kilogram of plastic, and it's the, the rolls have five to seven layers when they're wrapped. So, you know, if you can imagine that being unwrapped when mm, the farmer that's a feeds lot of plastic. the silage out to his cattle, most farmers will try to retain that plastic, mm. put it in a skip. But you know, if the skip's absolutely full, if their storage is absolutely full, and we get wind like this, it's just going to Awful. be blown away. Thank you so much uh, for joining me this afternoon and for the amount of uh, time and plastic that you, you collected uh, yesterday. Thank you so much, Ev. Good. Uh, thanks, for, yeah. thanks for the opportunity. Absolute pleasure. And that was Ev Pettigrew from Riverwatch. 60 kilograms of silage plastic. That's uh, an awfully large amount, isn't it? And, and to think it could have ended up in our rither or people's backyards or other places. Uh, that, you know, just of uh, equal concern, especially on a day like we've had today. And I'll definitely get uh, Ev's details. So if you do want some help, you can get in contact. This is Tuesday Tribe with Stephen on Triple U FM, Shoalhaven's community radio.